Tinea skin infections are common fungal skin disorders brought on by various dermatophytes. Let's talk about the various types of these skin infections and their symptoms and available treatments. Tinea corporis, sometimes known as ringworm, has well-defined borders and a distinctive ring-shaped scaly appearance of ringworm. It could also have an erythematous or red appearance. Cold compresses can relieve itching and isolated regions may be treated with topical antifungals, including butenafine, myconazole, ketoconazole, or clartrimazole. The next condition is tinea cruris, which is known as jock itch. This kind of infection manifests as a distinct scaly plaque in the groin area. It does not damage mucous membranes. Topical antifungal creams or solutions may be prescribed for treatment. Tinea pedis, also known as athlete's foot, is common in adults. It's a chronic, superficial fungal infection of the foot's epidermis. Interdigital scaling and maceration, scaly plantar services with erythema and blistering, and pruritus and pain are some of its possible symptoms. Treatment options include applying topical antifungal cream, gel, solution, spray, or powder. If you're finding value in this video, then please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And check out the link in the description to purchase an instant digital download of the Integumentary System and Disorders Nursing School Notes, which includes the fungal skin infections reviewed in this video. The last condition is tinea unguium, also referred to as onychomycosis. This nail fungal infection, which occurs more frequently as people age, can appear as an elevated yellow or white nail plate that has accumulated hyperkeratotic material inside of it. Nail fungal infections are differentiated from other conditions by using culture, microscopy, and the absence of other symptoms. Treatment for tinea unguium is challenging because topical and systemic antifungal medications have a difficult time penetrating the nail plate. Lamisil and Sporinox are oral antifungals commonly prescribed for this condition. Topical antifungals may be prescribed if a patient's unable to tolerate systemic therapy. In severe cases, the nail may need to be surgically removed. Laser therapy, toenail thinning, and nail avulsion may also be treatment options. Providing patient education regarding prevention and treatment methods is crucial to avoid recurrence. Thank you for watching and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.